top five best things to tell your candidates before the on-site interview. Number one, show up on time and dress appropriately. Number two, you have to research the company on their website, on Crunchbase, and on their LinkedIn. Number three, have at least three questions prepared to ask. Number four, always be positive. And number five, give honest and precise answers. Be thorough. Okay, all right, so now let's go over all of them. Number one was be on time and dress appropriately. Now you would think um, that's really obvious, but it is not. I cannot tell you how many times I've actually had a company pass on someone because they were late, didn't say anything. Now remember, these, the company is on a schedule. If you are running late, take a deep breath, relax, make sure that you are going to email your recruiter or the hiring manager let them know that's what we're here for they can help you okay so you want to make sure that you tell your candidate that they have to know exactly what they're going to do in that situation and you have to make them relax dress appropriately again kind of something silly but you have to have to tell them now in the you know engineering world no one's like overdressed everyone's pretty casual but it's always better to be overdressed and underdressed so you want to do more of a you know maybe like a better than casual Friday like you know a, a nice dress and some slacks you know something like that just don't show up in a suit don't show up in you know sweats all right let's let's think about that now number two what you want to do is why I said is research have them research the company now I again have had people pass companies have passed on candidates my own candidates drives me crazy because they give me a call and say uh Brianna your candidate doesn't even know what we do did you talk to them? That is just as embarrassing for us as it is for your candidate, and it's just not good. So again, something they should know, you need to tell them. Number three, make sure your candidate has at least three to five questions for the company, okay? Now, that's gonna make them the company feel like your candidate is actually interested. There's nothing worse than the person that is interviewing them saying, hey, do you have any questions? And they go, no, you answered everything. Even if they truly did answer it, that's why you need to think, have them think outside the box and have three to five questions. Because sometimes what happens is companies do pass on candidates because they do not seem generally interested. You know, companies get a little, little crazy with that, which is okay, because they're right. All right, so number four, tell your candidate to always be positive. Now, perhaps your candidate is getting fired. Perhaps your candidate can't stand their manager. Who knows the reason, but normally people are leaving their companies for a negative thing. Now you don't want, the companies basically try to trip people up and think, okay, in worst case scenarios, what is this candidate gonna do? Let's say he's having a bad day. Is he gonna get down on people? Is he going to, you know, be annoying is he gonna you know who knows so they're trying to trip this person up you need to make sure that they spin whatever their situation is in a very positive manner that will make your candidate very hireable now number five now this is important especially for engineers engineers are very logical thinkers and not always in the know of their personality and that's very normal so what you need to tell them is be very precise and thorough with their answers and honest. You don't want your engineer going in there like Mrs. or Mr. Know-it-all because no one really likes that person. You need your person to be very likable. But you also need to make sure that that person gets across that they are very capable of doing the job they're interviewing for or they are very capable of learning whatever they need to learn. So that, now you have a lot of knowledge to share with your candidates. That personally is my top five that I would make sure you tell your candidates before they go on site, that final stage with the company. Because even if they say, look, I'm not that interested, you need to make sure your job is to get them on site and to help them 
get the offer because the more offers they get from you, the more chances you have in order to get that deal, okay? And that's what's really, truly important. And you also need to get across to your candidate that look, you don't know how much you love a company until you truly meet them in person, which is true. You always wanna be upfront and honest as well. So I hope that helped you. I would love to hear if anyone has anything else to add. Those are my favorites. Yes, again, you have a lot of knowledge, but these are the top five that you have to do. So, all right, don't forget, every Thursday at noon, I post up another video trying to help you become the next millionaire so you can also live the wonderful life that I've gotten to live all these years, but I want you to do it faster than I did. I've been doing it for 11 years. So, all right, again, like, subscribe, let's connect on LinkedIn and ask me whatever you need to ask me and go check out that three hour e-course to take you to the next level. Remember, money is the vessel that takes you and allows you to do the things that you want to do.